few people realize this, but since a childhood running with a band of gypsies, my pancreas has had the magical ability to convert lead to gold. Fortunately, it's really hard to get a piece of lead next to my pancreas, so it's not all that useful. But on the subject of magical body parts, here's our review of Enchanted Arms for the Xbox 360. This is Enchanted Arms, the latest RPG for the Xbox 360. Set in future Japan, Enchanted Arms tells a tale of Atsuma and brings to life a world ruled by magic and robots. You know, something way different than other Japanese RPGs. Magic Robot USA number one! I'll finish this! Still, I can't for the life of me figure out what the title is supposed to mean. Ugh, this right arm is a real pain. Your arm! What's wrong? Ah, that arm. Tell it to the arm, Mikado. And she... Game's lead character, Atsuma, has a posse that includes Mikado, which apparently is Japanese for offensive gay stereotype. I'm just telling it like it is, honey. The wheels of Enchanted Arms are set in motion when robots known as golems go berserk during a festival in Yokohama, just as Atsuma and his buddies are starting to have a good time. Whoa. During the commotion, Don't Atsuma's gone color to wanders it. off and damned if he doesn't accidentally release an evil devil golem named the Queen of Ice while searching for him. Here's Professor Facial Birthmark to tell us more about devil golems. In order to activate the almighty devil golems, special devices known as magic cores are required. Now free of her icy confines, the queen gets down to the business of being evil, and faster than you can say, Magic Robot USA number one! She dispatches of Mikado, Kizna Toya, and lays waste to Atsuma City to usher in the start of the Second Golem War. Here's the professor once again to tell us a little more about the Second Golem War. You excel at the practical elements, but you don't really like listening to my lectures, it seems. Or not. Here's the thing about Enchanted Arms. Much like this review, it's very, very, very wordy and very, very, very redundant. It's redundant and wordy and wordy and redundant. In fact, the characters spend so much time talking that this game takes an estimated 40 hours to complete. You know, with that much talking, there's bound to be some hilarious moments of awkward video game banter. And now, an awkward moment of video game banter. What are you, his legal guardian or something? <laughs> legal guardian? Of course not. I'm his disciple of love. Even with a magical arm, there is no way Atsuma can bring down the queen alone. Thankfully, you'll be joined by various allies all along your journey. The thing that really gets your party's party started comes in the form of golems, which you collect kind of like Pokemon, except that these guys kick the crap out of Charizard. Once defeated, you could add these robots gone wild to your arsenal and swap them in and out of your squad throughout the game. There's everything from a knight to a maid with a Gatling gun to this guy, whatever he is. If you're a patient gamer or you just like listening to anime characters have inane conversations, okay, you two, let's eat. Then Enchanted Arms is likely to win you over and reward you with solid gameplay and great looking cinemas. If not, at least, wait until the end of the first hour to see Mikado get his tossed. No! Mikado! Enchanted Arms gets a four. Oh! This Out of five.